Hey everyone, this is Pez Gimerly and today I'm back with another Dying Light 2 video. So Dying Light Twitter page just confirmed that there are 234 easter eggs in the game and many of which is not yet been discovered by the community. So to help us find these, but in a fun way, Techland has come up with a really cool idea. So there is a side quest in the game called Fortune Teller. In this side quest, the NPC gives you many secrets about hidden easter eggs in the game, but all of that in a form of a riddle. So every two weeks, the NPC will be telling you about her visions, meaning she will be giving you more riddles to solve. If you solve the riddles, you will discover a cool Easter egg. So right now, there are three riddles that was given by Mahala, who is the NPC, and well, I have solved all three of them. So let's begin. The first riddle says, head to the bus that stands abandoned for years, turn the current on to receive further trails on top of a structure raised by the hands of those who worship the maker. Take a look around and soon you will become a skater. Now there is a hint that it's actually in St. Paul Island District. So we head there and then we need to locate a bus, which I soon realized that there were more than one bus in that location. But as the riddle says, head to the bus and turn the current on, which means switch on the electricity. So it should be near an electrical substation. And then we need to look for a structure whose hands are raised. And well, I found it. It's actually here in this location. The bus is right there and the electrical station is at the left. And my friends, the statues are all over this place towards the right. So you basically need to unlock the electrical station and then head over to this building, grapple up to where you see this airdrop, then head inside and you should see a skateboard that you can pick up. By the way, I've already picked it up, so it won't show for me, but for you, it should be right there. As you can see in this old footage of mine, I'm actually picking it up. Anyways, after you grab it, use your survivor sense to follow the footprints. The red trails. Follow that until you reach an end near a car. Open the trunk of the car and get yourself a hoverboard. Technically, it's a challenge, so you can't keep it forever, but it's an easter egg, so it's fun to mess around with it. So, a riddle one is finally solved. Now, before we go to the second one, I wanted to tell you all that this same location also has another easter egg that has something to do with Tolga and Fatin. Link for that will be in the description. Now, let's look at the second riddle. The riddle says, wake up pilgrim, you have a city to save. From the peak of the world, let the wind carry you forth, where pens rule over a sword, spot a man and source of warmth. Now the hint here tells you to go to Garrison District and it's very obvious, the peak of the world meaning the highest point which is the VNC Tower, the tallest building in the game. Just come to this location and once you're here, go up, head over to the elevator and go to the rooftop of the VNC Tower. Now from there, you need to stand here and go to the building that you see in front of you right over there jump and use your paraglider to glide there and once you reach that location you should meet a guy named liquidator who is actually near a campfire now i have already met him so he won't be there for me but for you he should be right there just like this also if you want a detailed explanation on this easter egg well then i have a separate video dedicated to this easter egg linked in the description now, there are some cool things in this easter egg. This guy talks about Kyle Crane and also gives you a really cool weapon. That weapon is from Cyberpunk 2077. Yes, that beginning line saying, wake up pilgrim, you have a city to save was not there for the joke. They literally have the Mantis Blade from Cyberpunk 2077 in Dying Light 2. You basically get it after you're done talking to Liquidator. Pretty cool, right? Also some extra information for you all, remember I told you about Tolga and Fatin easter egg that you'll find in that very location where you found the hoverboard? Well that easter egg is connected to this one and you'll find out why. Anyways, now moving to the final riddle for this week, the third riddle that says 1, 2 ain't enough, 6 hole punts might seal the pact, score more, meet a rough, watch his jig and savage act. This is also very easy peasy my friends. This easter egg is in Trinity District as the hint suggests. Now you need to come to this location where you'll find this football field and there my friends you have a football. You just need to goal 9 times in total. After every 3 goals you will see something spawn or some sort of electricity around that will suggest you that the easter egg is working right and you are doing it correct. Now, don't worry, I have a detailed video on this too. Check the link in the description for the video where I teach you how to do this easter egg. So you just need to go 9 times, that's all you gotta do. But if you're confused, you can always watch that video. The best part about this easter egg is that you will see a dancing goon here and you will also get a fun blueprint. So guys, we have finally solved all the three of the riddles. After two weeks, there will be more of these riddles and then again, I will be back with some more of these videos. Also, do subscribe as we are so close to 100k subscribers. Thank you for watching and don't forget to stay human.